Yeah, so basically come a little bit closer. So if you if you're releasing the pain of the soleus muscle attaching onto the inner aspect of the shin. Often I find it's good if you can use your fingertips and just run your fingertips along that bone. You don't have to use crazy, crazy, crazy amounts of pressure. The person should be comfortable. They shouldn't really be flinching or clinching in any kind of pain. Um, and use a long kind of myofascial release technique. So this I would call a short amplitude, high velocity myofascial stroke. So you can use that short amplitude, high velocity stroke all the way up the medial aspect of the tibia, focusing a lot on the soleus, running along the inside aspect over here, all this tissue over here. You can come up through the mind, uh, sort of the midsection. Once you move up into the belly of the calf, then it's not as effective for treating this medial shin splint kind of pain um, so that's how I would do it uh, if you can just roll over onto your side for me yeah. I'll just show you one other method okay. the other way other way yes so in a side lying position you can access it a lot easier um, so often you can then exert more weight if you need to and you can use a longer stroke so I've still got the two sort of fingers running through that area but I'm able to reinforce it with my other hand and just run down the length of that tibia so all the soft tissue can be released in this area. Just a note, it's also very, very, very important to release the whole calf muscle if you've got medial shin splints and work a lot on ankle dorsiflexion mobility. You need to increase the, dorsif the closed chain dorsiflexion mobility of the ankle and you need to work a lot on eccentric strength, not only of the gastroc muscle, but also of the soleus muscle. So you need to do a lot of bent knee heel raises to start strengthening the lower section of the, of the gastroc muscle. So that's just a little bit of ma manual therapy, soft tissue release technique for medial shin splints.